everyone. I just want to take you very quickly through um, the new Alice uh, book. Um, it's quite small, as you can see. It's about six by four inches. Um, but if you do decide to make this book, I will say that we have to be quite specific on the papers. I've obviously used Damperia Alice papers um, and the chipboard um, shapes as well. However, because of the way that it's put together, this isn't one where you can really use your imagination with your papers and, you know, cut and chop as you please. Um, you're going to have to follow me quite closely. So that's the only downside to it. But I hope when you see it, you'll think that that's actually worth doing. So, as I said, quite a small book. This is a book that is made for book's sake. You can put pictures in it. There's definitely spaces for pictures. Um, smaller pictures but it, it's it this book is about the joy of making books it's not really 100% designed to put photos in um, but that doesn't mean that you can't so uh, we'll start off with this beautiful beautiful charm um, that obviously is made by the wonderful Mel at Safi Mel uh, it's got little uh, white rabbit it's got the uh, the cards a crown um, a drink me um, sentiment, uh, a key and of course you've got to have a red heart as it's Alice in Wonderland. Now the spine is about um, an inch and a half so it's, it's a little book but it is fairly solid. So I just want to show you kind of how I've put it together. It's not a book with a spine exactly, um, it's actually two accordion um, pages together. Uh, and I'm just going to take you quickly through those. It's a pop-up book, but it's a very, very, very simple one. It's not a pop-up one in the strictest sense of the imagination. Now, um, a, a little uh, thing that I've done all the way through is I've cut out a lot of the figures and actually um, hired them um, by, by putting them onto um, chipboard pieces. Uh, so, you know, just to make a little bit of extra interest. So if we look at the left hand side first, uh, as you open it up, um, as I mentioned, it is uh, an accordion book. Um, and we've got this uh, little special way of putting a page together there. Um, and there are spaces there where you can put photographs, for example. Um, but here we've got this wonderful um, artwork from the Stamperia papers. Lots of texture to this book. Um, and I've cut out phrases from the papers as well and added those. We've got a little space here just for some little, you know, cut aparts um, that we've put in. Scrap Lab clocks there, designed by Mark. Um, and just a little, you know, space for, for whatever you want. And then, like I said, those spaces are free for you to add in whatever you want to. There's a little pocket there that you can add things into. These three pages here, these are just using the cut aparts from the... Uh, from from the papers and to be honest with you they were so nice it wasn't worth changing anything so looking on the other side we've got a very simple little pop-up here um, and I'll show you how to do those I said the, the, the pop-ups in this book are super simple um, and then we move on here to another one um, with a little heart pop-up there and once again I've cut out bits from the um, from the papers and, and added them as well as some of the Alice die cuts this page here is um, one of the, the cut aparts and I've added some more of the little heart die cuts there just for some interest. So that is the left hand uh, part of the book. The right hand part, this is going to be a bit more difficult for me to show you exactly how this works. But on this part here, more of the um, chipboards, open it up, there's a little bit of a, a pop up there with some of the, the um, cups there cut out and added. Once again here, because this opens up like the other page, it's exactly the same, it's just different papers. Uh, we've got the white rabbit here, we've got two little pockets here for you to put um, tags or whatever you like in, but those bits do open up so that you can add photos in there if you want to. And then this back page here has just got some more of the cut aparts, um, the uh, chipboard pieces, uh, a, 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 scrap lab clock um, and then some of these lovely lovely cut aparts that are part of the paper now going the other way this is going to be a bit more difficult for me to show you i think um, but here on this page um, we've got alice standing up and we've got some of the cards um, that are cut out and made so that uh, 
they move around quite a lot. I kind of like that page, to be honest with you. Um, that then uh, opens up. Hold on, let me just put those back. Um, that then um, opens up and we've got the Cheshire Cat. Did you know that the Cheshire Cat was a British short hair? There you go. Now you know. Um, Alice, some of the words from, from the papers. And then finally we've got our, our little rabbit and some of the some of the words there from the papers too. So that's the book. The kit will be available um, in the shop for you. Um, I'm not sure. I'm, it, I guess this might be quite difficult to make in a different set of papers, um, but I totally trust your uh, ability to use your imaginations. Um, but like I said, uh, this is definitely a bookmaker's book um, and one that you will actually have to follow my cuts quite um, exactly for. So I hope you um, like the book. I've loved making it uh, and the kits will be up in the shop in the morning. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.